Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 90 of my Gateway Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in. The purpose of these videos is to document my journey through the Woodrow Institute's Gateway Experience. I like to call a Gateway Experience a scientific, repeatable process of self-discovery, self-exploration, and ultimately self-mastery or pretty much the same thing self-actualization that's just at the top there of Maslow's hierarchy of needs it consists of six waves with six tapes in each wave and we are currently on the second wave and the fifth tape called the energy bar tool today's the seventh time doing this tape seventh day so if you haven't seen any of my other videos, go ahead and check those out. That way you can get caught up to speed with where we started and where we are now. So let's get straight into it. Today is November 22nd, 2022. It is a Tuesday and it is 10 a.m. Man, I woke up this morning at 8.20 a.m. And that is a little bit late. Uh, really, my intention is to wake up at 5 a.m. And I have done it. And it's really one of my main goals right now is to wake up at 5 for a week straight. So uh, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep saying it. And I think tomorrow is going to be the day. Tomorrow is going to be the day because tonight I'm going to go to sleep at a good time. Last night I went to sleep at... Um, I want to say like 11, so it was a little bit later and, you know, I used to wake up at like 3.30, but that was when I was being held accountable by other people. Holding yourself accountable is a little bit different and there's some people that can't even do it at all. They need somebody else to hold them accountable. Um, I like to do both, so, um, we're going to get it done. And, um, yeah, doing this tape for the seventh time, that's what I did after I woke up this morning, went ahead and did my morning routine. I was pretty diligent. I stayed pretty focused and read my scrolls and my manifestation affirmations and everything. Then I went ahead and did that tape afterwards for the seventh time. And it is becoming more and more clear for me, and I talked about this in yesterday's video, and it's pretty much just going to build on itself, um, basically from episode one um, to to now, and uh, or not episode one total, but that as well. But really, episode one of the energy bar tool, and um, yeah, I want to just kind of like uh, I want to talk about something that is not as uh, as popular. You know, I think that uh, we know this and uh, I think that people use different kind of um, tools or um, even other people basically right on that line to uh, achieve this. And that is really consistency. You know, as human beings, we wake up one day and it's really one of our biggest assets as well is how malleable we are. But it's also one of our biggest curses. You know, it's like uh, we wake up one day and it could be completely different from the day before. And that, that's based on our emotions, it's based on our thoughts, based on the things and experiences that we experience. And uh, how all those things influenced us the day before, that can all, all, most of the time, and even just other people as well, it can also be most of the time how we wake up the next day and it can be completely different from the day before. Okay, and so different people use different things for overcoming that, overcoming those um, wind resistances as maybe they're flying through life. Um, there's things that are kind of pushing back on them. And, you know, certain people, they go to church every Sunday. Certain people, they um, have really good deep relationships where um, they hold each other accountable. And other people uh, don't do anything, you know. <laughs> Some people are just are just subject to that, um, those forces, all they're reacting throughout their lives, which brings me back to this uh, wheel here 
from the seven habits of highly effective people. And that's really the number one habit is be proactive because we really have to get out of that reactive mindset. And um, okay, so I'm going to bring it back to what it, all of this has to do with the energy bar tool. You know, just like how I've talked about it over and over and over again in these videos, I'm just going to reiterate this one more time because it's really all about the repetitions and uh, it's not just that. I'm going to build on it also at the end here with uh, with something else that I'm going to share with you guys. So, But it all starts with that proactivity. It starts with having something that you can use to hold yourself accountable. Um, some people, you know, they believe that the universe, everything happens for a reason and that that's going to, and then they use that as a, as a reminder of like what direction they're going. And, uh, and then, like I said, the flip side of that is like people that just think that everything is chaotic. You know, they think that there is no such thing. There's no greater plan. And obviously they manifest that with their lives. And, you know, um, moving into having other people hold us accountable, that's where you have like, uh, you know, family groups, you have um, uh, other things that, uh, you know, um, like people play sports when they play a, a sport like basketball, they, they, they go through all the plays with their, with their, with their, their teammates and they figure out the best way to run the play or football. You know, some people even use things like football to hold themselves to a consistent basis. And, uh, you know, they use it as their escape to kind of like unwind and uh, to bring themselves back to uh, not such an agitated state, perhaps um, when they're going through their lives and they are encountering uh, conflict at work and, you know, all these different things. But some people meditate. You know, some people like myself, I like to meditate, contemplate. I like to be present in the moment. I think that that's really the biggest thing that we have as humans is being present. And from there, we can create our future. That's really the truth behind everything. It's the truth behind people that watch football and they kind of take that second to, you know, kick back and think about what they're going to do the next day. They think about, but they think about it from a different perspective of less stress. You know, and they allow kind of like their subconscious mind to go to work there and to to really solve their problems, which we all have. We all have that subconscious, super conscious mind. The only downside that I personally see with something like that is that then they become fanatics, you know, and then they start to buy the jerseys. And then, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I would much rather invest my time and energy in something that's going to give back to me, not in such a, uh, not in that way, you know, in a better way. Which brings me to the next point, which is the energy bar tool. And with this energy bar tool, really it gives back to us. The more we put into it, the more it gives back. And having done this for the seventh time on this seventh episode, you know, I'm starting to realize It's not just about the energy bar tool, okay? It's really about whatever it is that you want to visualize. And yes, athletes that are paid millions of dollars, they even do this. They visualize the play and they visualize throwing the ball and they visualize the other person catching it and then they run the play over and over and over again. The only thing is that that, what kind of value is that really bringing? You know, that's my biggest question is like, what kind of value is that bringing to other people? You know, um, it's like a wheel. It's like a Ferris wheel. It's like a circus, you know, it's just going over and over and over again, around in circles over and over again. I would much rather provide shelter for somebody, you know, maybe impact somebody's life in a positive way, in a constructive way, where they're actually doing something productive that produces something, you know? So that's what I like about the energy bar tool is that it's not just about the energy bar tool, it's also about 
what do you want to visualize? Do you want to visualize a house? Do you want to visualize better relationships? Do you want to visualize uh, a car? Do you want to visualize a city? You know, a clean city. If you if you like live in a city where there's a lot of uh, like stuff and trash, you know, maybe you start that, and then all of a sudden, from that visualization exercise, you start to actually act it out in the physical world. But really, one of the biggest things that we come back to, if you read Bob Monroe's book, um, Journeys Out of the Body, and uh, I think there's like far journeys, and I don't, I don't know if maybe I'm forgetting like the first book title right now, but uh, but he talks about this. He talks about not just that, but also like the the out of body aspect of it, where because we are more than our physical bodies, and we can influence the physical world from outside of it. He's talked about his experiences, and I haven't experienced those yet, so all I can do is reiterate those, and I will have I will come back and share with you guys whenever I do, how when he was doing one session, he left his body and he went to one of his friend's houses, and he saw a scene there, and he came back and he could remember the entire thing that happened, and he called a friend and he asked, hey, did this actually, was this, what were you doing at this time on this day? And she told him and he's like, yeah, that's what I saw, but what, how, how can I prove it? She doesn't remember that I was there, even though I was there talking with her, or at least her spiritual body. How can I, you know, bring this back to the physical world? So what he did is while he was there, he pinched her. Okay. He pinched her and he pinched her so hard that he didn't mean to do it, but when he came back and he was on the phone with her, he said, hey, do you remember the pinch? And she said, oh, that was you? Man, I thought that was somebody else coming from behind me. I had no idea that it was you, man. You pinched me so hard. Please never do that again because you left a bruise. You literally left a bruise on my side and you could see it. So he wasn't there physically, but he was there in his out of body experience. Now, what do you think? Is that real? Is that not real? Did that happen? Did that not happen? Do you believe him? Is that fake? Is it all made up? Well, I've had experiences where, and I've shared with you guys in these videos, and it's all about your focus, where, you know, I can see what happens before it happens. And that's called precognition. We also see that there's CIA declassified documents where we've got remote viewing and people are seeing things from a remote location and we can apply that to our entire universe and why is that because all time all points in time and space are one you know so i just wanted to go a little bit uh, deeper on today's uh video and i also want to share something because today is the 90th episode so yesterday i was uh, watching this thing called Wholesale Hotline and uh, I love this. This is like something that I'm dedicating myself to because I, I love real estate and uh, they talked about it on there how it takes 90 days to really do anything and to have it done with 100% surety. Like you just know that you know that you were successful at this one thing. If you just do it for 90 minutes a day for 90 days in a row. And today is the 90th episode. And so with, if you're confused about any of the things that I've talked about today, just go back and watch, you know, this whole journey that we've had so far and things that we've talked about. And you can see it. If you, if you, just, if you just pay attention, you can see it all there. It's all there. And... I mean, try it out for yourself, you know, go out and maybe listen to one of the Bob Monroe's tapes for 30 minutes. They're online on YouTube for free. It's just Tammy saying, what happens? I remember the first time I did it, I fell asleep. You know, I, I kind of went somewhere else, you know, and, uh, I came back and I couldn't, re I couldn't really connect the two of like what I had just experienced or what happened or whatever. 
you know. So, after that, I just kept going. And uh, I kept going, I kept doing it because I knew there was something there. It was what I had always really been looking for, but I couldn't really get it from these other sources that other people get it from, which I, you know, totally fine. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, I just think that, uh, you know, I like the immutable aspect of these tapes and, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So if you want to communicate with me, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.